I always wanted to be an artist from when I was a young kid, uh, but I took a drawing class in high school that really turned me off of art. I took the photograph of my grandfather painting and naively looked at it and said, uh, that feels like the end of a book. I think I'll do a book of my grandfather. And I spent two years photographing over a hundred rolls of film and put together a book on my grandfather. So all my life, I um, have been photographing people. I find that the most challenging. And I love the challenge of trying to capture who somebody is. Most portraits are a collaboration. The person you're photographing has to really be wanting, trusting you, and wanting to open up to you and show you who they are. And you have to be quick enough and comfortable enough to capture that person. This is my dry mount area outside my uh, dark room and Today I'm working on putting together a wedding album for my cousins. Uh, this is the book dummy which I send them, which gives them an idea of the layout and then I send them all the other pictures in case they want to change something. Actually, I'm pretty introverted. Uh, photographing people was my way of relating to them in a way. Because if I'm hiding behind the camera, then they don't feel quite so uh, threatening to me. And I love photography because I can make myself a good print and I can make a good print for them. And then if they liked it and saw that I captured something, you know, sort of the beginning of a friendship. And it's a way of giving to people. I've given to hundreds of people, um, capturing beautiful moments in their life. So I spent the last two and a half weeks um, printing for the album and now I have to do the final cuts. And I used to dry mount photographs in my albums, but I discovered that if you paste them just on the four corners, it makes the pages much more pliable and easy to, to um, turn. I think of photographs the same as songs. You know, when a rock song comes on that, that you knew when you were in college, it puts you right back. You know, oh, that was sophomore year and you remember who you were then. Well, photographs do the same thing. When you get a really good one, it just captures a time for you and triggers lots of memories. I just think putting together these albums for people uh, is one of the best things I can do. This fall, I'm going to participate for the second time in the Fall Foliage Art Tour. Uh, it's on Columbus Day weekend. I will have my studio open and display all my photographs, both color and black and white. 